years ago, a pipe burst in the Museum of Discovery in Little Rock, flooding its exhibits. And since then, the Science Museum has built back what was destroyed and is now ready to add some new galleries to the mix. Okay, it was a mess. It was a mess, and they have done a lot of work. The renovations will be adding two new areas for young children. Whitney Thomas joining us now live from downtown Little Rock with more on this. Whitney, how much will these projects cost the museum, and what are they going to look like? Bob and Laura, both of those galleries are set to be open this year using the funds from the reimagination campaign, which has surpassed over $7 million. We're celebrating with some Vortex Cannon. A monumental moment for the Museum of Discovery. Our new campaign total is $8.8 million. After a flood from a busted pipe in 2021, 70 exhibits and two galleries have been replaced. Now two early childhood gallery renovations are in the making. Our early childhood galleries, which, we, which will be called Small Fry Fish Camp and Curiosity Spot. Bass says the exhibits have been designed and will be a big attraction for children. Families that have little kids will just come flocking even more than they do now. Phase one and two of the reimagination campaign are complete. Announced was phase three with $10.7 million to be raised. Because we need the help of all who love the Museum of Discovery and believe in what we do to step up and help us close that $1.9 million gap. Families were thrilled to hear about the renovations to come. Yes, I'm really excited and I'd love to come back. And we just got a membership, so we probably will. And officials say outside of those renovations, they've also invested in a generator to prevent future flooding. Reporting live, Whitney Thomas, KRK4 News.